Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about the top 10 best quick keys inside of Pro Tools. Now, knowing these quick keys is going to help you go so much faster inside of Pro Tools, but it's also going to help you be more creative because you're going to spend so much less time clicking inside of menus and a lot more time writing and recording music. So let's go. All right, so first off, I am a Mac user, so everything should be the same except for a couple of things. If I talk about the Option key on Mac, that's the Alt key on PC. And if I talk about the Command key, that's the Windows key on PC. Other than that, everything should be the same. All right, so here we are inside of our Pro Tools session. And I'm going to start with some easy ones, and then we'll work up to some more complex ones. But the first one that you're going to use all the time and you absolutely should know is Copy and Paste. So to copy and paste, first you want to highlight your clip, and then you can do Command C, and then you're going to click where you want to paste the track and Command V. So copy and paste is Command C and Command V. Number two is a really important quick key and probably one you'll use often is undo. It's Command Z. You can see that track that I pasted a moment ago. I'm going to undo that, Command Z. Number three is copy and paste sections. So these first two tracks are my kick and snare track. So I could highlight these tracks. I could do a command C and then put my cursor at the end there and do a command V. But there's an easier way to do that. I can actually highlight these two tracks and just hit command D. And it's gonna paste those two tracks right at the end of my selection. So I have them right at the end of the bar there. And so it's pasting them, keeping right on the grid. And I can do this multiple times. I can just hit Command D, Command D, Command D, and it'll keep doing that. Number four is zoom in and zoom out of tracks. Now I have to note that you have to look here up in the right hand corner of the screen and you see this little AZ that has to be on. So I, if I click that, and it's now grayed out, it's off. So this has to be on and it'll be yellow just like it is right there. And as long as this is turned on, I can click on my track and I can hit T to zoom in and I can hit R to zoom back out. R and T, zoom in, zoom out. And again, you have to have this keyboard focus light on, but as long as that's on, you can use R and T to zoom in and out. I use that all the time, super helpful. Number five is the creating new track shortcut. And this comes with some bonus tips. So to create new tracks, you go Shift, Command, N. That brings up this little dialog box right here. And then the bonus shortcut is you can hold down the Command key or the Windows key on a PC. And if I press the right arrow, I can switch between a mono track and a stereo track. And if I push the down arrow, again, while holding the Command key or the Windows key, I can scroll through the different types of tracks that I can create. So I do I use this all the time. I'll shift command N, this will come up and usually I'm creating a stereo instrument track just like it's set right there. And you can also go right here and you can name the track. So if that's going to be a pad, I could just name it pad. Boom. Hit the enter key or the return key and then there's your new track. Next, there's the quick key for switching between the mix window and the edit window. And this is another one I use constantly. That's going to be Command Plus. So if I press Command Plus, it goes to my mix window. If I press it again, it goes back to my edit window. So that's Command Plus, and that switches between your edit window and your mix window. Number seven is a quick key to create fade outs or crossfades. So if I just highlight the piece of audio that I want to do my fade out on, then I hit Command F. That brings up this dialog box right here, the fade out box. I can choose the type of fade that I want. Simply click OK or hit Enter. There's my fade. And if I want to get rid of that fade, I can just highlight the fade and hit Delete. And boom, it's gone. Now if I want to do a crossfade, I just select the two clips that I want to cross together and again hit Command F. Now it shows you the crossfade dialog box and I can just hit OK and boom, there's my crossfade. Again, to delete that, just double click it and hit Delete. Number eight is the quick key on how to mute clips. So if I want to mute this clip right here, I can just select that clip and go Command M. That mutes just that part of this piece of audio. And if I want to unmute it, I can again go Command M. 
This is a really useful quick key, and sometimes I use this to mute whole sections of the drums or whole sections of different type of instruments just to audition and see what those sections sound like without those parts. Number nine is the quick key to open the MIDI edit window. So this track here you can see is made up of MIDI notes, and if I want to open up the MIDI edit window, I'm going to hold down Shift, Control, Option, and Equals. That's going to bring up this window here and I can bring that window down. And inside this window, you can see I have velocity here, so I can highlight the velocity. I can change the velocity of the notes. I can move the notes around inside of this. And you also have slip and grid mode and spot mode all inside of the MIDI edit window. So you can put it into slip mode, slide your tracks around if you want to change the timing a little bit. I can grab whole groups of notes and move them all at the same time. I can take parts of this performance and change the velocity of just certain parts or just certain notes. So since I use a ton of MIDI in my tracks, this is one I use all the time. Number 10 is consolidating clips. So if I want to take these three clips here and make them all one clip again, I can hold down Shift, Option, 3. And that made them all one clip again. Now I can drag them around all on one clip. And you can also do this to multiple tracks at once. You can highlight all the tracks that you want to be consolidated and hit Shift Option 3 and it'll consolidate all the tracks at once. Alright, so I have a couple bonus quick keys for you. And this first one is known as the Three Finger Salute. So I'm going to use this when I want to see all of my tracks and not have a zoomed in view like I do right now. So this is going to show me all of my tracks inside of one session window. So the three finger salute is control, option, command, and down arrow. When I do that, now I can see all the tracks in my session. And another bonus quick key is option A. Now I can see all of my tracks from beginning to end in this session. Another bonus quick key allows you to do half speed playback and that's shift and spacebar. All right, and the last quick key I'll leave you with is Command S, save often, my friends. And let me know in the comments what your favorite quick key is. I've been using Pro Tools for many years, but I'm still learning, so maybe there's a great quick key that you know about that I don't know about yet. If you got some value out of this video today, please like this video and also subscribe to this channel. Turn on that bell for notifications because I put new videos out every single week. Also, I recently did a video that shows you how to print your mix inside of Pro Tools, and you can watch that video right here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.